heading to Chester for a day there and it's going to be like a foodie road trip so top three foods that you've got to try in Chester um, yeah so if you want to see what we get up to then just keep watching On one of Chester's side streets, you'll find this cozy tea shop, which serves traditional freshly baked pies every day, and you can choose from a variety of fillings. So I'm going to try the butternut squash, red pepper, and goat's cheese silo pastry. <laughs> So we had all of that food, so two main dishes, chocolate brownie, lattes, um, and it all came to less than £15, which I think is quite a bargain. Um, we went for the homity pie, which the lady told us dates back to the Second World War, um, to the land girls of the Second World War. The filling is onions, leek, potato, and then like a cheese crust as well, and it was amazing. You're probably with you. We've just checked in to our hotel, which was Hotel Indigo, which is literally maybe five minutes from the city centre. And now we're off to get meal number two. So we're not sure yet whether it's gonna be an afternoon tea or like a coffee, but we just fancy like a little pick me up um, before we head on to the Chester Walls. to be incredible. Flat white and then an iced chai latte. So Bean and Cole is an Australian inspired coffee shop most famous for its strong brew coffee. I ordered a chai latte which is a sweet spicy milky drink and the flavour changes depending on the coffee shop but this one tasted very much of cinnamon and vanilla. It was delicious. So we've just finished up at that coffee shop. It was called Bean and Cole and it was amazing. When you're here you have to try the acai bowl. It's made using mashed acai palm fruit and then served topped with granola, bananas, blueberries, strawberries and coconut shavings. Oh my god, it's actually amazing. And we've even got... Ooh, oh, <laughs> it's a push. Not a pool door. A balcony. And that's the park over there. I'll show you properly, um, but I've not got any shoes on. <laughs> and it's really wet. I'll show you the bathroom because it's just a little bit incredible. Um, our bath here. I mean, I wasn't going to have a bath, but... I've never used bath salts before. I'm not used to this kind of luxury. <laughs> um, so I'm in the bathroom at Hotel Indigo. Uh, my hair is completely windswept and rained on. Um, but I'm gonna quickly show you the room now as well because honestly, I have never stayed in a room so beautiful. It's just, it's just incredible. And the manager kindly upgraded us, which was just, we were not expecting at all, so it's definitely 
added like a touch of luxury to our Chester trip. I think we're gonna just chill in the hotel for a little bit. Um, I might edit a couple of pictures and then we'll pick some up for dinner. room and now we're just trying to decide where to go and eat tonight. I'm thinking um, the Brewery Tap because it's one of the oldest pubs in Chester. It dates back to 1645 and it's actually where King Charles I spent the night um, during the Battle of Roton Moor and it's meant to have amazing home cooked food so I reckon that's a good option for dinner. So, I went for the clam pasta, and then here we've got truffle stuffed ravioli. come out um, with my coffee this morning since we got upgraded which is amazing um, I thought I'd make the most of it and sit outside today we are going to get breakfast um, we're gonna get a full English breakfast I think somewhere maybe at the hotel actually because the breakfast looks incredible um, and then we're gonna get afternoon tea at a place called Mad Hatters which is meant to be the best and quirkiest afternoon tea in Chester. Cathedral. It actually dates back to the 12th century and it's grade one listed building. There are tours for 30 minutes or 60 minutes up to the top of the towers or you can walk around inside and it's free entry but it's nice to leave a donation. And now we are heading to Mad Hatter's for some afternoon tea. If you want afternoon tea at Mad Hatter's you'll have to book in advance. We went for the cream tea instead, which came with perfectly baked scones, butter, jam and cream. The tea room is Alice in Wonderland themed, with quirky milk jugs and plenty of sweet treats. So the last stop on this vlog is a place called the Brewery Tap which is a pub set in a 13th century Jacobean hall. It serves all sorts of home-cooked food and speciality ales in a cosy, homely setting, so it had to take a spot on this list. It's also believed that King Charles I stayed here in September of 1645 when his army was defeated in the Battle of Roton Moor. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. 
basically we're just going to Cheshire Oats after this to uh, do a bit of shopping. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video um, and my little recommendations for things to do and places to eat in Chester if you're ever here. Please let me know um, in the comments if you enjoyed it or if you've got any other recommendations for places to visit for food, especially coffee because that's just my thing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I'm up in the Chester Rose now. Um, I'm actually on Boots Row. Boots. Oh, flipping it. It was called Baker's Row because it was where the craftsmen and the bakers um, used to be. Oh. I just went down a dead end. I'll take you to watch Annabelle tonight if you want. <laughs> right, come on, let's do it. <laughs> and more.